Down in the biology classes, students are interacting with all forms of life this year as the biology department has welcomed some new pets. We are a biology class and we study life. Uh, Spike helps us study all types of life, including bearded dragons and you know some of the life yes. processes that they do. So he kind of connects to our learning that we do in the classroom. Just made it like a fun interactive thing that we can have in biology. So it, and it grew from one snake to 16. Um, last time I counted, I think I was at 28. Having pets in the classroom helps with not only learning the subject, but also responsibility. The 11 or 12 units that we cover in the content over the year, we will actually use them in lessons. So for example, the genetics unit, when we start talking about our ball pythons, these guys are absolutely amazing to use for all the different colorations and patterns. And so we'll use them to talk about dominant and recessive and co-dominant traits. And actually my students last year decided that the pet they wanted was a bearded dragon. So last year, one of my classes uh, raised the money to purchase a uh, spike or bearded dragon. The pets play many important roles in the classroom, even acting as a calming mechanism for some students. Students actually use them as coping tools. I think that students really look forward to coming in and holding the snakes. Some days we can have them, some days we can unfortunately, but um, I think that it brings everyone together. They get really excited to hold an animal. I think if you're having a bad day, they actually calm you down. But there are some downsides to having pets in a learning environment. Weekends at home, bringing them back on the weekends, getting them comfortable in his uh, two different habitats. Sometimes we get distracted, and so I teach freshmen, and so sometimes we get a little distracted with the animals, but I do tell my students that if we can't focus on class and hold animals, then we won't. So it's kind of like a privilege. Students are allowed to come visit and interact with any of the animals whenever the classes have free time. For Jack TV, this is Naya Obi.